Today we're going to show you another Japanese ski round that made the top 100 list. It's called Holiday. But I have to tell you, it's a green trip. And it's kind of flat. I mean, it's very flat. Well, let's be honest. It's really, really flat. <laughs> but we're still going to make this episode very entertaining by... Showing you some epic tree runs. And we're going to show you how to have fun during a ski vacation outside of skiing in Hokkaido and Tokyo. Let's roll the intro! If you go to Japan, there are so many unique things you can experience outside of skiing. For example, I like riding the old school single chair lift on a sunny day. It's slow but so relaxing. And this is extremely hard to find in the United States. After a hard day of skiing, one of my favorite things to do is go to onsen, which means Japanese hot spring. It's so relaxing and energizing, I just can't think of a better way to recover. You like onsen? Yeah! Having a good time? If you go in early February, remember to spend half day in Sapporo to check out the fantastic stone festivals. If you're coming from North America, it's very likely that your first stop will be Tokyo. If you can, spend at least two days in Tokyo. And this is our third time in Tokyo, but Tokyo is so large and so diverse, uh, we always can find something new. And today we're at Akitabra. find everything you can think of related to games and anime here. There's the largest anime store in not only Japan but also in the world. You can also find the biggest Gen Chapun kids love it. There are also some really big arcades that we spent a couple hours had a great time. I could totally see myself spending half day there. And they also have this thing called Maid Cafe, where the waitress will dress up in maid and, and serve you. Quite an interesting experience. Now we're gonna try one of the uh, more classic dessert at Akihabara. It's called a honey toast. Basically, they put honey and cream and sugar and maybe some maple syrup on top of a toast. Why not? You're on vacation. The bread tastes tasty and the ice cream's good. It's um it's kind of like chocolatey and banana-y, but I like it. The second day we went to a digital art museum called Team Lab Borderless. Totally blew away by their display. I hope by now you're, you're planning a ski holiday to Japan. But now let's talk about the ski run holiday. Holiday is a long, relatively gentle green run, which is perfect for beginner. So if you're at that stage, definitely check that out. And if you ski this run on a nice sunny day, you can see Mount Yute at the end of the run. It's very, very beautiful. For advanced and expert skiers looking for powder, very likely you will end up on, on this trail holiday if you go outside of backcountry gate 9. And there's a good reason for you to get there because the gate 9 will lead you to some of the best tree skiing we've ever had. And here's how you get there. Once you get into gate 9, don't drop in right away. Stay on your left, keep traversing for a good 2-3 minutes until you don't see any branches sticking out and then you drop into your right. When we get there, we had untrapped powder before we even get to the trees. What? And when 
don't get to the trees, those beautiful trees were perfectly spaced with untracked powder. That was the best tree scheme we ever had for a while. down the trees, likely you get to a creek, pass a creek, traverse, eventually you will land on the holiday, get onto that green trail, ski down, eventually that will take you to the base of Grand Giraffe, take the down level up, go to the next round of powder hunting. <laughs> 